with us. We are here at CES 2015 at the Scipio Suite, and with me is Michael Weissman. Thank you so much for joining us. Great to be here. So, what does Scipio do? Scipio is the leader in GDOT Fast modems. And what is GDOT Fast? GDOT Fast is the new ITU standard that will replace DSL as uh, the ultra broadband standard. So, up to one gigabit per second for every consumer. Well, that's a huge amount of data that can go through. So how's it going to work? So basically what happens is fiber is brought closer to the home, but not all the way into the home, because that last 100 meters, 200 meters is incredibly expensive. So what happens is the fiber is brought close to a distribution point, and then it is converted to run on the copper wiring. And because it's closer, it is uh, uh, able to deliver very high performance. And GDOT Fast has support for a very low cost implementation for the telcos, so it's very inexpensive. And this will allow them to compete very effectively against the cable companies. And so this is expense, inexpensive for the carriers, but also for, I'm hoping, the consumer as well. Absolutely. Because fiber to the home is incredibly expensive, that cost has to be um, passed along to the consumer. The average telco, it can take as much as 20 years to even break even on fiber to the home. With GDOT Fast, they can break even very, very quickly, and so they can pass that cost savings on to the consumer and compete more competitively against the cable companies. Now, what we're going to see later is a demo that shows Ultra HD uh, being downloaded and streamed live. Um, and so, but the question for you is, so we've got, let's say I live in a complex, and we've got 16 homes there. Am I still going to get my one gig, or what's, how's it going to be? Yeah, unlike cable where you're sharing the media, uh, GDOT Fast, each subscriber gets the full capacity, because each one has their own phone line, and so they get the full capacity. So if you wanted, to, let's take an AT&T U-verse, today has four lines for HD. If you wanted to support Ultra HD, you would need a couple hundred megabits of performance per subscriber to support all of those Ultra HD streams, and you need a technology like GDOT Fast to make that happen. Now, how ready is GDOT Fast for, and your offering for being used and picked up by the carriers? So we expect GDOT Fast to be deployed by telcos in mass quantities in uh, 2015. Mm -hmm. And you, <clears throat> there's a couple steps. First, you have to have chips, and we have working silicon. Then you have to have devices, mm -hmm. and we have uh, customers who are building devices right now. And then you need to have support for what's called reverse power, uh, and it's a, uh, a way for the telcos to very economically uh, roll this out. And today, uh, yesterday, we made an announcement that we're the first to demonstrate reverse power. And then you need management, and we also announced yesterday the support of management software. So all of the elements needed to successfully roll this out have all been announced and being demonstrated. And so now it's just uh, fine-tuning all of the, the components, going through the purchase process and the field testing that the telcos do and then we'll roll it out later this year. Fantastic. Well, good luck, and I will wish you the best of success. Thank you. And thank you so much for joining us here at RCR Wireless TV. Stay tuned for more from CES 2015.